If you want to make it into the top six, you have to make the same exact dish as one of the all-time greats. That's right. Me. Tonight, you're going to have to replicate one of my dishes. You'll be making a stunning potato-crusted sea bass. You will be cooking alongside me. Honestly, I'm freaked out. I have no idea what I'm going to do now. And maybe I'm just going to shit my pants all the way through. I think I just did. And you will have to keep up with me every step of the way. This dish has taken years to perfect. And tonight, I'm the clock. Once I'm done, you'll then have 60 seconds to complete your dish. Are we ready? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. Follow, listen, and keep up. I'm starting now. Gas on, low pilot light. Knives out. Get organized. Grab the shallot. Work nice and tidy. Turn the gas up. Get that nice and warm. You got to keep up from the first step. Yeah, he doesn't stop for anybody. Shallots go into the pan, and we squeeze the garlic over the shallots. Good. Take your white beans. Into the pan they go. Come on, Suba. White beans. Let's go, Suba. Now, take your chicken stock. You bring that up to the boil. Good. Now we're going to start the minestrone. Get your pancetta. We're going to cut this into a beautiful dice. Now we start with the vegetables. Celery, pepper, zucchini, and fennel. What are we doing now? We're dicing, dicing, dicing them. Take a nice bunch of basil and lay that over the top. That's going to infuse, almost like a tea bag. Yes, chef. Hurt, chef. What's temp is the pan right now? Simmering. If we boil it rapidly, we're going to destroy the color of that minestrone. We're going to start cooking the clams. Pan nice and hot. Clams go in. Clams go in. Yes, chef. Sweat them off. Put the lid on. Sweat them off. Do not season. Lid. Stand back. Be careful. Flambe. Flambe. Once those clams start to open, lid off and you drain, OK? We're going to now puree the beans. In we go. Lid back on, number one. And they puree softly. Next, the most important part, we're going to go for the scales, the fish scales, the potato. Look at me, all of you, super careful. Slicing on the mandolin. Let's go. Watch me. Watch. Yes, chef. Watch. We don't go like that. We go down and we slice slowly. Let's go. Now, gently place the scales over the fish. You can run over and see what I'm doing if you wish. Puree off. Mikey, take your time for the most difficult part this evening, OK? Get your spatula. You lift the fish very carefully up. You put that into your hand. You lift the pan up, and you put that in, and you turn that over. Oil goes in, and you season that fish, and you do not shake that pan. Get your basil out of that minestrone. It's done its purpose. Yes, sir. We're just there for infusion. OK? Yes, That's done. Look at your scales. Look at them. Use your eyes. Cook with your eyes. I get my fish slice into the oil so it doesn't stick to the potatoes firmly, and I turn it over. We start basting those scales, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's chef. go. Make sure that butter is really nice and frothy. Yes, chef. Take your lemon, and you season this minestrone. Now for the most exciting part. We start to dress. Puree, spoon into the middle of the plate. And now we start cherry picking our delicious minestrone. And then finally, take your clams and put your clams over the top. Speed up and usually sit that fish on top and lightly sprinkle fennel pollen. Your 60 seconds start now. Let's go, guys. Take a look at Chef Gordon's if you have to. Take a look. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds, seconds. left. Come on. Let's go. Get the fish on. 10, Ten on. 9, on. 8, Get it on. 8, 7, Get it on. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 2 it, 1. And stop. 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 Yeah. Well done. Yes. 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 I can't, yes. I can't. Well done. Yes. Well done. Yes. I can't. Well done. Oh. Oh. 